after tomorrow. I know, it's gonna be so much fun. Just think, Emily Elizabeth, we're actually going to meet Marjorie Maxwell, the author of the Sarah Sober Mysteries. This must be her booth. I really love her books. She's going to have copies of her newest book, Sarah Sauber Saves the Day. We're definitely gonna be there for that. Hey, guys. Hi. What are you doing? We're helping Mr. Solomon set up the Storyteller's Pavilion. Hi, girls. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Solomon. Here's the backdrop. Ah, oh, this'll look great. What's the Storyteller's Pavilion? It's for kids to come and listen to volunteers reading stories. That sounds so cool. That's where the kids will sit. And this is where Evan and I are gonna read the stories. You two get to be storytellers? You bet. Isn't that cool? If you two are interested, we're still looking for more volunteers. I'd love to be a storyteller. Me too, me too. But it can't be when Marjorie Maxwell is signing Sarah Solver books at her booth. Right. We really want to meet her. No problem. She's signing in the afternoon. If you two read in the morning, you'll still have plenty of time. <laughs> Perfect. What do we need to do? Just pick out some of your favorite picture books to read to the younger kids. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Oh, this is so hard. There are so many good books, Clifford. I don't know which ones I should choose. You've got to help me. I can't figure out which books to pick. I know, it's so hard. Come on in. Hello? It's me. Let me guess. You're having trouble picking which books to read at the fair. How did you know? <laughs> Lucky guess. Why don't you put them over by Nina's stack? <sighs> Can you guys help me? Evan? Pick out the books to read? Come on in. Whoa, whoa. Looks like we've got enough to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one that Mr. Solomon wrote. Flo and Zoe can't say no. Oh, that's the one about the cookies. I like that one. It's funny. Mm-hmm. We should definitely bring it. Oh, oh, oh. How about Ducky Days takes a bath? Oh, I love Ducky Days. Rub a dub dub in the tub a tub tub. Rub a dub dub in the tub a tub tub. Rub a dub dub in the tub a tub. The, I mean, I read that a long time ago, but I think the younger kids will really like it. Well, if you remember it that well, I think we should include it. Oh, what's this? The Amazing Adventures of Clifford the Courageous Canine. Clifford the Courageous Canine! Those are stories that I make up with Clifford. We pretend he's a superhero with a special utility collar and cape. <laughs> that sounds neat. It is. The stories are lots of fun to make up. Clifford the Courageous Canine! I'm lost in the woods and a squirrel just ate my last granola bar! Come rescue me! Oh, thank you, Clifford. You really are a courageous canine. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> <laughs> Should we bring it? Mm, it's not really finished yet. Okay, it looks like we've got enough for the book fair anyway. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Ruff, ruff. People are here. Here's the schedule. We have enough books to last until noon. Which is when Evan and Shun will arrive with the next batch. 
And then, we'll go see Marjorie Maxwell and get the new Sarah Sauber mystery book. Oh, and we brought you two some snacks so that you don't get hungry. Okay, who's ready for story time? Me! And Flo looked up at the baker. Would you like another cookie? Asked the baker. And even though she was full, Flo just couldn't say no. The end. <laughs> <laughs> and as Ducky Days finally got clean, he sang... Rub a dab dab in a tub a tub tub! The end. Wow, <laughs> great job, guys. Did you like the story? Yeah! yeah! So did I. <laughs> What's next? <gasps> We're all out of books. One more. One more. What? We can't be. We had enough books to last until noon. It is noon. Where are Evan and Shun? They were supposed to be here by now. I'm sure they'll be here any minute. If they're not, I'll miss Marjorie Maxwell and the new Sarah Silver mystery book. I know. And there's another problem. What? They're waiting for more stories, and we've already read all of these. Oh, no. Well, can we reread some of them? Uh, they've already heard them. Ah, oh, how could Evan and Shun do this to us? More! 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 Where are Evan and Shun? They're so late. Well, I'm sure they have a good reason. Maybe. But I'm still missing the Sarah Solver mystery presentation. <sighs> That's not our only problem. The kids look really bored. I know, but what are we gonna do? We don't have any more books to read. <gasps> <laughs> Silly puppy, you look just like Clifford the Courageous Canine. That's it? What's it? Clifford the Courageous Canine will tell them those stories. But we left the book at home, remember? Yes, but where did you and Clifford get the story ideas in the first place? Well, we just used our imaginations and made them up. <gasps> hey, we can do that now. Who can help us? Clifford the Courageous Canine! Don't forget your sidekick, Heroic Jorge! Yay! Clever the Courageous <laughs> We are so sorry. Where have you been? We had to help Mr. Solomon. Uh, one of the wheels on my wheelchair broke. Evan and Shun helped me back to my apartment so I could fix it. We figured you had a good excuse. You two should hurry up and go get the Sarah Solver book. It's too late. It's already over. I'm really, really sorry, Nina. Oh, I hope you're not mad at us. Of course not. I am disappointed, though. I really wanted to meet Marjorie Maxwell. Well, I'm pretty proud of you girls. You could have just left these kids, but you didn't. That showed a lot of responsibility. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you two that my son and I have had the best time listening to you tell those Clifford stories. Thanks. We had a fun time telling them. <laughs> Did you make them up yourselves? Because I write stories too, mostly mysteries. Ah, oh, mysteries are my favorite. Have you read those Sarah Sauber mysteries? Oh, Marjorie Maxwell is the best. Well, thank you. It's always nice to meet one of my readers. Wait, you're Marjorie Maxwell? I'm your number one fan! You know, I have a new book called Sarah Solver Saves the Day. I know, I know. I was hoping to get a copy of it this afternoon, but I guess they're all gone now. Well, I have a few extra copies if you're interested. Are you kidding? We're very interested. No problem. But first, I think you've got some of your own fans waiting to meet you. You do? Well, we better get back. Come on, you can help us too. 
We need another big problem for Clifford the Courageous Canine to solve. There's a man named Mr. Solomon. And the wheel on his wheelchair breaks. Oh, no! This sounds like a job for... Clifford, what are you doing? I have a play date in the laundry room with the Sadarskis. I want to share all my favorite toys, but if I move them one by one, I'll spend the whole play date going up and down the stairs. Oh, how about if we help? Sure, if we each carry a few toys. They'd all be in the laundry room in no time. That'd be great. Thanks, guys. Clifford's friends know that it's important to help others. Because when you help someone, you can make their really big job not so big at all. That's why Clifford's idea to grow on for today is help others. Oh, thanks, guys. Now there's just one more thing. Could you help us play with all these toys? You bet. All right. All right. Uh. 